It is day 31. We woke up early and did a really big hike because it's hot out. Incredible views though. We made it to the water cache, so there's plenty of water. It's gonna be a long water carry. No water, supposedly, for the next 20 something miles, except for melted snow. And there's Max eating his breakfast. <laughs> She's got a little bit of trail magic. It's kind of fun. It's gonna be a big climb day and a big snow day, so I think this will come in handy at the end of the day. We'll see. Rattlesnake number four in the last three days. This one was pissed that I was nearby. Is still kind of pissed that I'm nearby. The rattlesnake is right there. The trail goes right next to it. There's no good way around down. No good way around up. So I think I'm just in a standoff. And uh, luckily it appears the snake went away. So I win this round. Like most normal people, I hate ticks. And I've been freaking out that I'd probably get one. And here he is. Hi. I'm afraid to take my eyes off of it. The trail register had a little tick card with like, tell us what species of ticks you're seeing. So I'm gonna science this little guy first. And then I'm going to cast him back to hell once he came. Turns out it was a male Pacific Coast tick. It's always good to know your enemy. We've been climbing quite a bit all day. Rewarded with some pretty decent views. Somehow, some way, I missed it or it wasn't there. But I must have passed the 350 mile marker, which means that we're halfway done with the desert. Woohoo! Carol and Brady just brought me trail magic along the trail. Fruit snacks and Rice Krispies and Oreos, which are my favorite. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're the best. Are you a gopher snake? No. Are you a corn snake? What are you? So pretty. Oh, I want to hold you. Why are you inching like that, you weirdo? <laughs> you little inchworm, you. What's happening? I can tell you are digesting something large. Someone was kind enough to point out the poodle dog bush, which I have never seen before. We walked through the desert and we're at the pines again. A typical PCT trail. The trail is interrupted by a landslide. Classic. More views. You can see the mountains of snow that we came from way out there. San Bernardino's and San Jacinto way out there. As previously reported, it looks pretty snowy up ahead, which we are not looking forward to. Uh-oh. It's snow. It's coming. Today has been a challenge. That couple that gave us trail magic apparently told Dylan that this ascent today is what some of the hikers think is the hardest on the PCT. And we have been going up for hours and hours and hours straight. There's been no downs and no real flats. Um, so, and there's no water. And we're doing pretty dang good, if I do say so myself, but it's just, um, it's a challenge today. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to make it to the snow and then we'll have plenty of water it, so we can just melt snow. And, uh, and then we'll see from there. After a quick break, we are ready to hit the trail again with a campsite in both two and four miles just ahead. We're feeling quite fortunate because I had heard that there was going to be snow today starting at about 6,500 feet and so far we're actually over 7,500 feet and our feet have just barely touched snow like seven to ten steps in the snow so it's been really awesome we're absolutely crushing it today uh, cranking out way more miles than I was expecting us to and 
yeah, it's really great because that means we'll get to Wrightwood earlier tomorrow than I think I expected. So more time for pizza, beer, more importantly, shower, laundry. So excited for. It's 5.30. Oh, you can see we have a good view now. But uh, we're still climbing and it's kind of maddening because there's a lot of like, not true false peaks, but you'll come around the corner and then see just how much farther you have to go. We have four more miles to Gaffy, Guffy, Guffy tent site, which has hopefully some water and I hear a bathroom, so it sounds like a nice sight. Let's crank out four more miles. Instead of walking to Guffy campsite, we ended up finding the last snow-free area with our friends Amanda, Michael, and Ian and camping the night. Day 31 wrap-up. Yes. We did 15.1 miles, and it was quite steep the whole time. It was just up the whole day. It was up and up and up, and uh, it was 15. Uh, over 5,000 yeah. feet elevation gain. 5, We're over 8,000 feet right now. But not a lot of snow, so good. And there was no water, and it was a hot day, so it was challenging. But we got here to the campsite where there was some snow melt, and we saw some friends, and so we decided to camp for the night, and yeah. Hiker hunger setting in. We each had about two and a half dinners, so that's fun. That's all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>